Hi guys and welcome to Shields Cooking. Today we're going to make a celeriac wellington. We're going to cook the celeriac in some salted dough, then we're going to fill it with some cooked cabbage and we're going to cover it with a delicious mushroom duxa. So, let's begin. Start by pouring one kilogram of flour on your worktop. Now make a big hole in the middle and fill it with one kilogram of coarse salt. Then pour 650 milliliters of water in the middle and knead this into a nice bowl of dough. Now flour your work top and divide the dough in two. Roll one part into a thin sheet. Put a celeriac that weighs around one kilogram on top and cover it tightly with the dough. Then put it on a baking tray and repeat this process with the remaining dough. Bake them for two and a half hours at 180 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, chop 800 grams of mushrooms into small pieces. Now transfer it into a bowl and then clean two shallots. Chop them. Then heat up a big baking pan and add a splash of olive oil. Start with glazing your shallots for one minute and then add the chopped mushrooms. Also add a serious amount of salt, the leaves from four springs of thyme and two pressed cloves of garlic. Bake this till all the liquid has vaporized and the mushrooms start to color. Then add 300 milliliters of vegetable stock and 50 milliliters of ponzu vinegar. Reduce this and then season it with salt and pepper. Now transfer it into a bowl and let this cool down completely. While that's cooling down, cut a cabbage in half and remove the core. Now cut it in thin slices. Transfer it into a dry pan and cook it on a medium heat with one tablespoon of curry powder and a pinch of salt. Once it's cooked, blender it slightly. Then transfer it into a bowl and let this cool down as well. Now with the back of a sharpening steel, break the salt crust and take the celeriac out. Let this cool down out of the fridge. Then pour 200 grams of flour in your worktop and make a hole in the middle. Add 4 grams of salt and grate 140 grams of vegan butter in the middle. Now add 40 grams of cold water and carefully mix this. Once it has come together, flour your worktop and roll the dough into a long rectangle. Fold this in three and then repeat this process another two times. And wrap it in plastic foil and let it rest in your fridge for one hour. Now take the celeriacs and clean them. Cut them in half and then cut them with a round cutter. Now cut them in half again and remove the middle with a small round cutter. Fill this with the cabbage. Now place the celeriacs tightly together on a sheet of plastic foil. Wrap this and let it set in your fridge for at least half an hour. Then place some plastic foil on your worktop and put three sheets of spring roll dough on top. Pipe the mushroom duxel on two thirds of the spring roll dough and spread this evenly. Put the celeriac on top and wrap it tightly with the duxel. Wrap this with the plastic foil and let it set in your fridge for half an hour.
Now flour your works out and roll your puff pastry into a thin sheet that's around 3 millimeters. Put the celeriac on top and wrap it with the puff pastry. Brush it with a little bit of water to make it stick better. Put it on a silicon mold and brush some vegan double cream on top. Now take the remaining puff pastry and cut it with a round cutter. Place this carefully on the Wellington. Then brush it again with the double cream. And now add some thyme and some flaky salt. And then bake it at 190 degrees Celsius until it's nice and golden. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So like it and don't forget to share it with the hashtag ShieldsCooking because I can't wait to see the results. Subscribe if you want to see more and as always, bon appetit!